Aloha, Richard Halverson here. This is ITS 148. And uh, in this video, we're going to do the uh, problem uh, programming exercise 11.10. And so let me share my screen. So we are in. Um, <clears throat> We are doing, today we're going to do this one here, 11.10. And so if we take a look with that, take a look at it, let's, uh, we're in chapter 11. Let's go to 11, the programming exercises in the back of the chapter. And if we scroll down to 11.10, we get, I've actually snipped it out. Of it. it looks like this. Okay. <clears throat> so we're supposed to create an app, uh, that draws this circle here and the circle is fixed at location 100 comma 60 and the radius is 50 okay so <clears throat> this point right in the middle here is 100 comma 50 and uh, so let's uh, let's see what this looks like uh, I've got right here uh, so let me um, <clears throat> So let's say this is the 0, 0, 0, comma, 0, and this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. And um, it's uh, 100 is, uh, 100 is y, is x, x, y, it's x, y, is, uh, x, y, x, comma, y equals 100, comma, 60. So, um, so 100, let's say 100 is here. So let's say 100 is here. And let's say 60 is like, uh, well, let's just say 60 is here. It's not really to scale. So let's say that this point here is 100 comma 60. And uh, so this is 100. Wait, X is 100. Oops, this is wrong. But this is 100 and this is 60. Let me erase this. Okay, so this is 60. And this is 100. Because <clears throat> this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Y goes that way, x goes this way. Oops. All right, so anyway, um, now the radius is 50. So that means uh, uh, the radius, so the top of the circle is up here at 10. And uh, this is 50. And the uh, this part of the circle over here is going to be uh, 100 minus 50, which is going to be 50. And, and then um, it's going to go down to 60 plus 50, which is 110, something like that. This is like, let me erase this. This is like um, 110. And it also goes over to here, which is about um, 150. Okay, so we have... Uh, so if so this is the the circle looks like this <clears throat> yeah and um, <clears throat> so um, when we describe the circle we're going to describe the rectangle that encloses the circle so it's going to be like this when we give the dimensions of the circle when we're drawing it. We give the dimensions of this rectangle, and this is going to be uh, 50, 10, and this is going to be uh, 150, 150, comma, 10, and this is um, uh, 150, comma, it's terrible. It's a terrible zero. 150. Make a zero. Uh, 
comma 110, y equals 110, and this is going to be um, x equals 150, comma 110. Okay, so that encloses a circle. Okay, so now what the, the problem is, is whenever the mouse is in, okay, so we're going to hold down the left button, hold down the, the regular clicker button, and when we hold it down, it's going to say whether the mouse is inside the circle, inside the circle or outside the circle. And as we move the mouse, it'll actually flip. As soon as we move it right across this, it'll flip to say mouse is not in the circle. And when it's inside, when it goes back inside, that it flips and this text here says the mouse is in the circle. Okay, so that's how we're supposed to do this. <clears throat> so, um, so let's put this down. And we can put this down. And let's take a look at what we need to, uh, let's take a look at the canvas. Uh, oh, here's our, here's our problem right here. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> uh, let's see, let me bring this back up again. So, so the approach I'm going to take is first I'm going to draw the circle. And then I'm going to um, write a little method that's going to tell me the distance that the mouse is from the center of the, of the circle right here. This is the center. This thing right here is the center. And that point is 100 comma 60. And, and I ha so I'm going to have a program uh, that uses the Pythagorean theorem. That's how you compute the distance between two points. And I'm going to Google search that because uh, let's imagine we don't even know that it's Pythagorean theorem. We'll just say, how do you find the distance between two points? And so I'm going to search that, and we'll see what the formula is, and we're going to we're going to use that formula. All right. So so um, so so basically, uh, you know, it's like let's say the mouse is right here. Well, we want to compute the distance between this point and this point, and so this point, let's say this is um, 90 or something. Let's say this this point is 90. And so uh, we're talking, and let's say this point is, is 30. This looks like about 30. So this point here might be 30 comma 90. And so we want to calculate the distance between 30 comma 90 and um, 100 comma 60. Okay. <clears throat> so um, if we look we actually look up Pythagorean theorem, or let's look up distance between two points. I'm going to search on distance between find how to oh this is a good one how to find the distance between two points. Okay, here uh, and here's the formula right here in this video. Um, we subtract. We find the difference between the x's, and then we square it. And then we find the difference between the y's and we square it. And then we add those two numbers together. And then we take the square root. And that's the distance between them. <clears throat> uh, OK, so um, and of course, if, if, um, if this measure here is inches and this measure here is inches, then the distance is going to be in inches. You know? that many inches away so sometimes it's you know it's huge you're not sure oh it's it's 70 away 70 what well that's that's how you know what that is okay so uh, is there a better calculator this one here's this one's let's see this actually has the for the here this is the actual formula here okay so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, see I've snipped this well I'll just remember this formula now. Um, okay, so <clears throat> so let's figure out what what widgets we're going to use. Let's go here, and let's go to um, first. We're going to want to look at uh, the canvas, and the canvas is in. Uh, let's see, it's either in this one, canvas. So here's canvas. Okay, we might as well start out with the canvas because first we have to make a canvas and then we're going to put a circle on it. <clears throat> uh, 
All right. Um, so here's uh, with the canvas, you can use these methods. Create oval. We're going to use that one. And, and a circle is a special kind of oval. And uh, so here's an example. I'm going to click answer here. Uh, here's a canvas example that uh, looks like it draws a bunch of these things. And so you click on the button to draw us oval. And um, where were we would draw the, where's the button? Must make a button. Oh, it's a frame. Oh, frame. Oh, oh there's a, all these are buttons. Okay, so we, we make a frame and then we put the frame on there and then we throw a bunch of buttons in there. And the button that's for creating an oval, it says oval on it, that's going to that's gonna invoke this method, display oval, which is this method. And this is the create oval method. And uh, so uh, let's look, let's find it, create oval. That's, this happens to be the X. No, this is X, Y, X, Y. This is the upper left hand point, and this is the lower right hand point. So that is... Um, not this, this. So you define it by this point and this point. X, Y, X, Y. So X, Y, X, Y. And so um, do we create an oval? See, this is where we define it. We do X1, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And so that creates that. Creates that. So, um, <clears throat> So let's start, um, okay, so let's start with a blank here. And the first thing we're going to do is we get to do from tk enter import uh, asterisk, and that gets all the tinker classes. And let's do this as a um, uh, class, the class way. So class main GUI, I'll call it. And uh, let's start. Define the init init and that's going to be it. This is going to be a, a self, excuse me, self. I'll call it self, it doesn't have to be self, but I'll call it that as everybody else does. Uh, and then I'm going to make a window and I'm going to call that window window. I don't have to, but everybody seems to, so I'm going to do that. And that's how you make a create a window and then I'm going to put a title on the window OW equals um, inside the circle equals uh, dot title is inside or outside whatever The circle, even though it's probably going to be small, I won't even be able to read it. But. <clears throat> All right, so that that puts a nice title up there, and so now um, we're going to make a canvas. Let's make a canvas, and we're going to want to refer to this canvas inside of methods. So let's put a self prefix on there, and let's call our canvas canvas lowercase. We can call it anything, but well, let's call it canvas, and that is an instance of a canvas class here uh, from TK enter canvas and we're going to put that on the window and it's the background color is going to be white and uh, the width let's set the width as um, I don't know, 300 300 and let's set the height is uh, 150 Okay, how's that? How's that for a nice window? And uh, let's just, uh, I guess we'll make a separate uh, self canvas. We can, we could have combined this with the previous uh, statement, but we're not going to. Uh, dot pack, and we'll just put this on top of each other. And uh, okay, great. Uh, now let's create this oval. Okay, so. Um, we want to make this oval. Let's go back to our calculations here. We want to make it at 50, comma 10 and 150, comma 110. So let's let's uh, 
Let's put that in there. Um, self canvas uh, create oval. And let's do 50. Fifty, comma ten, comma one fifty, comma one ten, ten. Okay, and uh, let's call this. Uh, we have to uh, have refer to it some way, and so we're going to call it circle. Okay. Um. And let's just do this main window main loop. I want to see what this looks like. And um, say main GUI. All right, I'm going to see what this does. Save and. Um, CMD, oh no, I'm here. Um, CD desktop and um, Python test.py. And this thing pops up. Whoop de doo. So uh, that's what it looks like. Tell you what, I'm going to move that uh, circle a little bit. I'm going to make it, I think I can do this. Yeah, I, I can just move it um, as long as I keep the distances the same. If I add, um, I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to add 20 to all the numbers. Okay, so I'm going to make this 70. I think that should work. And I'm going to make this uh, 30, oops, 30, and I'm going to make this 70, and I'm going to make this 30. I think that should work. Save. And, oh, this thing pops up. Okay, yeah, that's still a circle. That's a radius of 50. The radius is 50. And it's just the center is in a different place now. The center would be in, um, the center must be, I have to add uh, 20 to this. So this is center is going to be at 120, 120, comma, 80. Yeah? Yes, 120, comma, 80. So that's the center now, instead of, instead of 100 comma 60. Okay, um, so uh, next, let's, um, let's do this. Uh, now, um, working with the mouse, um, we have to use this bind method. So, that that would be uh, at uh, key mouse key events section eleven point five. Let's just go back to the table of contents, and we would look at mouse key events and bindings. Binding the mouse key event, the mouse the mouse to the key to the binding the mouse events to the event handlers, to the methods. Okay, this is a really good video. You should watch this video. Videos are good, only four minutes and 42 seconds. And uh, so this is the bind method that we're gonna use, okay? So, uh, so, and um, the event, uh, we're gonna use this motion event. The event occurs when a mouse button is moved while being held down on the widget. So so with this BI motion, oh, and by the way, the I, that's mouse button one, two, or three. So mouse button one is the regular clicking mouse button. 
uh, mouse button three is is what we uh, when we do a right click when we do a right click when we do a right click uh, yeah like that that's mouse button three mouse button two I think is a little I'm, I'm not sure what mouse button two is must be maybe it's my button in the middle or something like that I don't know so so anyway we're going to use this B1 motion. And what that's going to do is that's going to continually send back uh, the position, mouse position, back to the, uh, and cause the um, event handler to, uh, it, uh, to uh, um, and invokes the event handler each time it sends back a, the XY coordinates. So, uh, so to get that going, um, we're just going to have a, uh, we're going to have a, a self canvas uh, bind, which is binds the mouse, and we're going to do this B1 motion, uh, comma, and we're going to create a method called um, is inside. Is it, you know, so it's kind of like a question. Is it inside? And so let's call it, it'll be uh, is inside I'm going to call it that and so now I got to write that go down below here and go back to the def line and go def is inside and it's going to be uh, self we're on uh, we're on the self we're in self and it's part of the self class and uh, we're gonna uh, see what the event comes in Uh, this is how we refer to the to the properties of the event that comes in. So we're just going to call it event. Call it anything. And um, so I guess I need to create another method here. Huh? Um, so with this event or with this method um, I'm gonna look at cell uh, canvas ah I have to put text somewhere something's tagged as text I'm gonna leave that for now and um, I'm going to create another method, um, and I'm going to I'm going to come back to this method here. I'm going to create another method called uh, <clears throat> um, distance, and it's going to uh, take in as a parameter. It'll take in the x center, well, x one, y one, x two, comma, y two. Okay, so these are the two coordinates, and I have to make a, um, a variable, I'm going to call it D, equals, uh, and now I'm going to refer to this. here and I'm going to put this down distracting put that down distracting okay so it's um it's this formula right here so let me do d is equal to something the square squared uh, the square root s q r t how do you oh you can do 0.5 so uh, so it's going to be something uh, to the one half power something to the one half power this is this is going to be square root we could use the math package but that's the math class but let's just use this uh, so this is how you raise something to the one to the one half power that's what that's what square rooting square rooting is like um, it's like the square root of x is x to the one half power or it's x to the 0.5 power okay x to the 0.5 power is the square root of x 
And so we have something here, the square root of, okay? And what's inside is this thing. So we got, now I gotta express that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do um, uh, x2, x, x2 minus x1, uh, and and I want to do that, and and I want that to be squared. So I'm going to do parentheses. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. I, I'm sorry. I went. So it's x2 times x2 minus x1. Now, if I want to square that, oops, no. I'm going to put a space, these spaces here. Okay, so to square that, I can do put a parentheses around it and do... Uh, star star two okay that'll square it okay and then i want to add to that y i want to do the same thing with y so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to do plus the same thing except for this is going to be y2 minus y1 okay so what this does now i think this is it this is all i, got, all I need this is x2 minus x1, it's like just x2 minus x1 squared, squared, <coughs> and then y2 minus y1 squared, <coughs> add it together, and then take the whole thing and take the square root of it. Okay, so this is the distance between these two points, and let's just return that. So we're just going to return that distance. Okay, there. So when this distance is called, okay, now, um, for this test inside, let's make a method that goes, um, if, oh, um, I tell you what, let's make another method before we do that. Let's make another method which will return um, true or false if the if the xy parameters are inside the uh, the circle. Okay, so uh, is inside circle, and it's, this is going to return a true. This is going to return true or false. Um, and so I want to ha have um, the center. This will be x center. Um, and y center, and that's going to be this uh, this thing. No, it's going to be uh, oh, it's going to be this twenty eighty. So that's the center, and um, the uh, and then I oh the radius. We want to know the radius radius of the circle because that's that's the distance threshold. If it if it's um, whatever the radius is, that's the distance between here to here. That's the radius. That's the distance between here to here. It's 50. The radius is 50. So if the distance between this point and this point is greater than 50, then it's outside the circle. If it's less than 50, it's inside the circle. So that's how this is going to work. So I can do um, the radius. I'm just going to, I'm going to, so, so I'm passing all these in as parameters. I don't need to, but I'm just going to radius and then what exactly the uh, XY coordinates are now that's a property of this okay this whenever the mouse moves this is called and there's this event there and uh, there's going to be an event dot X and there's going to be an event dot Y those are properties of this event thing we don't have to call it event but that's what we're going to call it and so, so th these are going to be the parameters to my inside circle thing. And uh, what I just need to do is um, uh, yeah, I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to just cut this out here. I'm going to put this here and I'm gonna put um, okay so it turns out 
it doesn't matter if we do x2 minus x1 or we do x1 minus x2 because one way one way we get a negative number the other way we get a positive number it's the same number but one way it's negative the other way it's positive but then when we square it it's going to be positive because if you have minus two minus two squared is the same as plus two squared because the negatives cancel yeah and so um so i'm going to put so, so i'm going to make uh it doesn't matter so th this will be my x1 so i'm going to make this be i'm going to make this be x1 y1 and and x2 is going to be x dot event or event dot x and x and y2 is going to be y dot event so so this is this is going to be this is x2, so I gotta put x, so x1 is fine, x, this is gonna be x2, so wherever there's an x2, which is here, and whenever there's a y2, which is here. Okay, so uh, this takes care of that calculation, so we don't need this anymore. But what we do need is, um, uh, so if, um, if D is less than radius, uh, then um, then uh, I gotta say it's inside the circle. Oh no no, this I have to return true or false. So if D is, is less than, uh, then it's it's true that it's inside the circle. So I can just return true. Oh, it's gotta be capital, right? Uh, else. Return false. And I guess I don't really need to put that on the next slide. <clears throat> okay, so um, that should work with that. Now I gotta fix this here um, and and I, I can say if if is inside circle if it's inside the circle and I gotta pass some parameters or yeah I gotta pass uh, X center, which is, uh, oh, X center is 120 comma 80. So it's 120 comma 80. Uh, that's the center and the radius would be 50, radius 50. And um, uh, this it's this event that I'm dealing with here. Yes, uh, I messed up. This should actually be up here. This should be here. And this should just remain, uh, this can remain x2, y2. I'm pretty sure. x2. This is ending up a real mess, you guys. Sorry about that. Hope this works. Uh, all right, so um, if inside circle is true, then what we wanna do is, if this returns true, means it's inside the circle, then we want to uh, create some text, self.canvas.createText. And we're supposed to say where to put it. I think it's the center. We say where the center of this text is. And let's put the center of the text just above the mouse. So if the mouse is like here, center of the text is going to be just like X minus 5 up. Okay, that'll be like 
five pixels up. So we'll just start with that. So we want the center of the text to be at uh, event x. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's y. This is the, the y axis. So it's y minus five. Event dot y minus five. So it's going to be uh, five pixels up from where the mouse actually is. So it's y minus five is five up. Subtracting is up. So that's where the text is going to go, and it's going to say. Uh, mouse inside how's that and you can make it better and we need to have a name for this because we're going to clear it we're going to want to clear it maybe maybe so let's let's do that anyway. tag equals we'll call it text okay so that way we can refer to it all right so that's what happens when it's when it's true and otherwise else we can say the same thing except for we say seems like I could have made this easier I'm gonna do this I'm gonna say uh, uh, txt equals um, inside else txt equals outside and then here I'm gonna put that and I'm gonna say text equals txt how's that it's the variable txt all right Well, I have no idea if this is going to work. Hope it works. Let's save. And um, let's um, close this and run it again. And here is our thing. And so I'm going to click and I'm going to move. And nothing is happening. Okay, so let me try to figure out why. Okay, um, the problem seems to be if we go back to go back to here and let's look at bind. We need to put these little uh, greater than less than things there, turns out. See? We need to put the greater than less than things there. So let's do that. Um, here, greater than. I mean, less than and then greater than. Okay, save this. And let's try to run this again. And this thing pops up and click. Oh, inside circle is not defined. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what the problem is. Okay, uh, let me try this. It's possible that this is not visible uh, because it's not defined till down here. Now, I could put this, okay, so I'm gonna try this. There's a couple of solutions. I'm gonna try, first of all, copying this and putting it up here just to see if that fixes it. Okay, so now it, now it is sees it. Okay, now it sees it. Um, 
right. Let's uh, see if what this does. I need to close this, turn it back on again. Nope, still the same problem. All right, um, I think the problem is, is that this, um, this is not being recognized. So I'm gonna put it at a, at, an out, at a more outside level. So I'm gonna cut this out here and I'm gonna put it down here, paste it here. And I'm gonna put this actually out here. So I got to pop these out, pop this out, and pop this out, and pop this out. Okay. So that makes this method visible for sure to this method. All right. So let's save this, and let's run it. And out comes this. And uh, so I click, oh look, outside. Okay. Okay, the problem is, is when I output some text, it stays there. So the way I get rid of that is when this thing, whenever this thing starts, it should clear out the text. It should delete the text, so self, canvas, uh, delete this will work and this is referring to this then the tag name this is a tag name this is a property but this is a tag name all right so let's see if this works Outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay, looks like it works. All right, so uh, what you need to do is um, go back to the actual, uh, make it say the mouse pointer is in the circle, the mouse pointer is outside the circle. Uh, you don't need to do exactly these parameters. You can do the ones that I did. Uh, and, you know, to be honest with you, if you want to change your radius, that's fine too, but just make sure that when you, when the mouse is moving that you're either inside, it says whether it's inside the circle or outside the circle. If you increase the radius, then you would end up uh, changing these parameters. This, it's, if you change it to 60, for example, then from the starting point, it would be minus 60 minus 60, minus 60, minus 60, or plus 60, plus, so that's if the radius is 60. So anyway, um, I hope that, that that helps, and you should be able to um, complete this assignment now, and uh, um, I hope without as many mistakes as it, as it took me. Thanks for watching.